Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Big Red has been sitting for the last three months, so it's time to fire it up and take loads down to Dubuque. Uh, the elevator is no longer Gavilon, it's Viterra now. So uh, we're going down to Viterra and uh, dropping off six loads to start. We are marching right into spring. See what I did there? And uh, there goes Travis and Dad now. Taking hay up to auction, but um, we're gonna be hauling corn. So, Big Red's been sitting. I've already gone through and greased it up, got it ready to go. Um, I just need to do my morning daily check, uh, check which is filling up the coolant and uh, checking the oil and everything, checking the tires, making sure that we're good to go. But otherwise, we're ready to start this up and start it, start loading it. Let's get started. Good on oil. The last thing to do is we're going to take some WD forty and spray down the doors along the edges to make them easier to open and close. We already greased them and everything. Still haven't got them rebuilt. Saving money, I guess. <laughs> to take some of the weight out of each bin, we're gonna be taking three out of the Sioux bin and three out of the Sioux cup bin. Just to kind of core them out, get some of the nastier fines out of the bins. The soup in, well, typically should be all right because we already technically corded out, but uh, the soup in usually has more debris in it than the soup up does. Nice. All right, everybody get your earplugs in. Where's we go? Up. It doesn't like riding in the truck, so we decided to bring Luna along today. All right. On this bin, we typically can't run it at more than half with the gate open. And uh, I just cranked it to half open and the belt started slipping. So I just shut it off, close it back down. Anywhere between a quarter to less than half is where we're sitting. This bin unloads very slow compared to the other one. Hi. Hi. Nice hat. Too bad they don't exist anymore. I chose accordingly. Oh, okay. <laughs>
There's 80,000 pounds, I hope. for the elevator right there. second load that last one was 80,300 pounds and the moisture was 16.29 and we had 1.5 for damage 1.2 for foreign material so I'm kind of a little surprised that the moisture is as high as it was but uh, as we get out more of the bin it's definitely gonna lower so I'll keep a close eye on it as we haul more corn out all these bees wings are just from the first load. This load is so much cleaner. My guess is the moisture is really gonna go down because there's fewer bees wings, less fines in this load. The fines tend to collect a lot of moisture, especially like when it's really humid in the air. So since we cored it out, it's looking a lot better. My guess is we'll be at 15 or below in the next load.
80,300. 16 moisture, came down a little bit. 1.2 damage, 1.2 foreign matter. 994 bushels gross, 980 net. Which is after you factor in shrink because the moisture is over like 15 and a half. It's always exactly 10 minutes before close. It's Hannah and welcome back to How Farms Work. Today we are hauling grain and Ryan is making me drive. We're moving. Put the brake in. Push to release. Okay, there it goes. probably hear the fans running. I turned on the automatic agar dry system on the large sukup bin and it'll turn on when conditions are right to dry or bring down the moisture inside the bin. So uh, when we showed up this morning the fan was running and then that told me that I needed to turn on the sewer bin because the moisture in this bin is about 1% higher and best guess is that the small Suk up is right where it was when we put it away about 17 percent moisture so i wanted to turn on those fans as well now when we end for the day we'll come back over and shut the, these fans off and let this one run and uh it'll just keep turning on and off whenever the conditions are right let's say it starts raining typically the humidity will go up in the air so that'll tell the system to shut down and when that one's off you know that's a sign to us to turn off the other ones as well so I'm gonna be keeping the corn in the small souk up until I sell my steers so it's gonna be the corn that most likely sits in the bin the longest but uh, right now after we finished hauling two loads today uh, I'm probably gonna have to haul another load to meet the quota of 6,000 um, we don't have any uh, bushels locked in for a specific month so uh, we might be hauling again here come June Hey buddy. He's like, they're forcing me to ride along.
two days of drying, that's gotta be worth something. So that's pretty much it for now. Gonna hold off on hauling any more corn until probably this summer when basis is actually positive. So with that, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.